Hey everyone, let's take a look at the Disney Celebration train by Lego. This is set number 43212 and it contains roughly 200 bricks. It retails for $39.99 and this set was provided to me by the Lego Group for review. And just by the first impressions on this box, it looks pretty interesting. So we've got a train with some various features and in addition we have six minifigures which is Morana, Woody, Peter Pan, Tinker Bell, Mickey Mouse, and Minnie Mouse. So that's pretty good. <laughs> I don't think I have any of those minifigures in my collection. Here's the back with all the various stuff that we can do, and it is marked as Learn to Build. So obviously we're going to be learning some building strategies. And the set is rated for four years of age and up. Well, today it's rated for adults. <laughs> so we're going to take a look at it from an adult's perspective. Well, let's head over to the workbench and take a look. I'm going to do things a bit differently. Let's do a close-up tour first. So here we have Minnie Mouse holding a yellow balloon. She has nice print work for her torso and a cloth skirt as well. That was probably the only challenging part to put on. And right next to her off to the left, we have a cake and a cupcake. I like this little decoration with the Mickey Mouse head and flag on top. And that's pretty cool. And that's pretty much what this is. It's like a little bakery stand and now we can take a look at the train and there's really <laughs> really not much to it so here we have Mickey Mouse on a locomotive and this piece here is printed which is cool and it's just your basic locomotive and here we have Peter Pan and Tinkerbell we've got one of these little skull shields or sails on the top <laughs> and i've only had four hours of sleep guys and gals so i hope i'll get all the names and everything right on this and this is supposed to represent like a little sailboat or something not too bad and here we have woody that's facing the wrong way but there he is with this guitar where's buzz at and the sheriff sign is printed and stuff and here on the far right we have Moana, I believe that's her name. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And she's on a wave with a crab and stuff like that. And let's take more of a 3D tour on this. And I'll save my thoughts and opinions for the latter part of the video. For the most part, it is a nice, colorful build. That's pretty much what it is for $39.99. And as you can see, all the cards are connected together. So everything does move. And it looks like it would fit on a standard Lego train track, which would be pretty cool. Now we're going to get right into the review and opinions on this set. And we're going to dive right into play value first because this is pretty much what it is. It's a play set. And yes, this is playable. You get six minifigures and it looks very bright and colorful. So you can actually rearrange the figures, move the cars around and all that stuff. So it is a fully playable set. And that's pretty much where it ends there with that. So that's a good thing. For build experience, I'm sure this would be a great build for a child, but... For an adult such as myself, the build was a bit on the dry side. The manual was dragged out and you're only putting two to three pieces on at a time. So it was just a lengthy process. And the whole total build was like 30, 35 minutes. So don't expect this to be something that's going to have a lot of wow factor. I mean, it looks good, but the build experience just wasn't there. And as far as for build quality, some of this stuff does flake off like the balloons. Some of these little pieces can fall off. There's a star inside this barrel. I guess Woody was retiring, so he threw his star in the trash can. <laughs> That's just floating around. So some things can fall off of this pretty easily, and it's not really the most durable thing. So I'd say the build quality in this is pretty average. Now, despite what this is, this can be dropped in a Lego City. So if you have a train track, or just if you want to use this like for a parade, there you go. You got your floats all ready to go. If you have a fun park, or better yet, if somebody's actually ever built a full Disney World, this would look really well, especially with the Disney Castle. So this would be a great companion for that. As far as for mocks, I, there may be some pieces in you can use for mocks, or you could just expand on this and add more cars to the train if you want. That wouldn't be too bad. 
Now, for the price of $39.99 for 200 pieces, this is essentially what you're getting. You're getting six minifigures and five pieces, four of which are train cars. Now, for me personally, $40 is a bit too much for this. $25 at the most. Essentially, what we were putting together was five poly bags. That's basically what these are, what they remind me of. Just imagine these being each a poly bag. They would have been better off doing this as poly bag set than a box set. But for $40, for me personally, it is a bit steep. Now, I know some want the minifigures out of this. And Lego kind of already knows people are going to pay the price for those. But for me, if I were to walk into a store and see this set on a shelf and I saw the $40 price tag on there, it would scare me away and I would run away from this set because it'd be too pricey. But if this was $25, this would be a great little gift. But for me personally, especially as a mock builder and as an adult, it just wasn't appealing. But I'm sure for a young one, this would be a great set to build. But I want to know what you guys and gals think. Do you think this is a great set, especially for a young one? Or are you buying this <laughs> basically as a collector's item? Do you think it's worth $40? To me, not really. But I want to hear what you have to say about the set. So leave your comments below.